LA Dog Works is an upscale dog boarding facility located in the heart of Hollywood, California. Founded by Andrew Rosenthal in 2004, this 24-hour full-service center with 36 employees has everything from grooming to training Sit. in a state-of-the-art indoor dog park. This business generates $1.3 million a year, but recently their numbers have started to tumble. Sloppy business practices. I don't want to waste your time and please don't waste mine. Together with lax management. There's I mean, an inventory missing. Uh, well, you know, it's hard to tell because stuff slips through the cracks. Has driven down sales and piled up $150,000 of debt. You know, I could lose everything. If they don't make changes, this business will be forced to close its doors. Marcus. All right, Andrew. Very well. I got a nice place here. Thanks. So how many square feet is this whole thing, front to back? 7,500. We have boarding, grooming, daycare, training. Sit. Good boy. And we have our boutique. Can I get a tour? Absolutely. Hey, buddy. You know, some people have said that, you know, oh, the chain link, you know, my dog was in a shelter and it's going to bring back bad memories. First of all, dogs don't think that way. It would never, the dog would never think that way. But the first thing I thought of, I got my two Cocker Spaniels from yeah. the shelter. It, it has the same feel as the shelter, so maybe that's why people say it. Well, people, not dogs. Do you think the dogs care about this? But it's the marketing for the, for the customer, not for the dog, right? I mean, we do it our way and it works really well. How does a customer contact you if they have a complaint? There's a website out there that people post business reviews, and we've had some negative stuff put up there, and Andrew responds to it. Well, here's an example of one. I've been bringing my dog here for six months. One night I came to pick him up. What I found was my pup wearing a muzzle tied to a wall. My own dog, I was horrified. Then your response was, after questioning the staff, I believe them and not you. Mm -hmm. You told the customer that. Yeah. Andrew, stay the f off the internet because you're hurting your business. What's your biggest challenge in your job when you wake up in the morning? Putting up with me. <laughs> yelling with you? That's good. <laughs> I don't walk around yelling every day. I walk around yelling when I need to. Neil? Marcus. Marcus, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What would you say would be the single biggest problem in the organization? It starts at the top. It's a really dynamite facility with a well thought out system. But I don't think Andrew is rational. Hey, Aaron told me he flies off the handle in a nanosecond. I got bit recently. Andrew literally got in my face and yelled at me and blamed me for it. In front of other employees? Yes. Why do you want LA Dog Works? Because I like the brand. I looked at 600 businesses and I like this concept. I'm willing to write a check mm -hmm. and fund what I think needs to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not willing to do it, I will not do it, if you're managing the people. No. You don't really necessarily like people. Andrew, I'm gonna offer you $1 million. Four. I want 50% of the business. You and I are gonna be equal partners. I'm gonna control the operations of the business and you will have no authority over the employees and you will control the brand. But this is a business that I built and now I'm gonna share that with somebody. What I care about in this moment is you and a business that I think has a load of potential. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to work. We're shaking on making this work for both of us. But I wanna be clear. Yes. If you mess with any of these employees, I will fire you. The days of people being yelled at and demoralized and morale being this low are over. If you're happy, the customer will be happy. If you're unhappy, this place is out of business. And you're not gonna be out of business on my watch. We need to raise revenue in order to make money around here. We're gonna get very, very clear about the process. My other goal is I wanna open up more locations, but we cannot do that. We cannot do that unless this one is right. I mean, if I could fire the entire staff and start from, from scratch, I would do that too. So who wrecked the van? Well, Neil. What do you do, just yell at him? I don't talk to Neil, as a matter of fact. Why, you don't like him? I hate him. When he got bit by the dog and was bleeding, were you concerned about him or the dog? <laughs> okay. Andrew, I gotta tell you, Andrew's side of that your story. laugh scares the shit out of me. What Neil did was reach down and push the dog back, at which point the dog bit him. It sounds like he was just trying to stop the dog from running in the street. I was horrified. Why, why would you do that? 
As Andrew is ranting and raving, Neil walks in. Instead of Andrew using some sort of decorum or discretion or shutting his mouth, he continues. He actually gets even more amped up. And then he comes up to my office, yelling and screaming at me that I should have shown more compassion. But I think when that happens, I think what people are looking for is some level of sympathy. That's not, again, my staff has to function a right way. Okay, I know. When Neil started working here, and I told him to, this, to his face, I had big hopes for him. When you say that to somebody, I, didn't I had high I, hopes for you. Neil did not hear that from me until we had a huge argument in the kitchen. When he got in my face with his wide eyes. I, I, I got in your face? You don't remember that? I don't remember it that way. Where I was, my back was to the door and you were standing here staring me down and I said, I said, who the f do you think you are staring me down? You don't remember that? I remember it differently. Okay, well. Have a good night, Okay, no, no, is there a problem? It's impossible, Andrew, for you to dismiss how these people feel anymore. You can't do it anymore. I don't dismiss. You do. You focus so much on what doesn't get done that it makes people feel that they're worthless. You complain about having to pay anybody anything, and people work really hard. I feel you dismiss it. It's just, it's not. Okay, you're incorrect in your feelings. I have tried, and I've tried to communicate, and I'll tell you something, it doesn't work all the time. They're scared Sunday, of example, how you're gonna react. And that's a big one, too, because a lot of people see you ranting, yelling at me when I'm inside the dog dance, so then they're just like, oh, I'm not gonna go talk to him. People avoid you. Everybody here knows my personality, knows the way I am. I'm a reactionary, okay? I'll yell and scream, and then it's fine. Yeah, but right? I mean, for and you. That's what I need to do for my health. And for, my, and for my health, I'm sorry, it's not working, because I'm stressed out. I go home stressed as hell, dude. I don't see my wife as much, because I have to do these extra hours. You don't think I work enough? This job is really stressing me out. That's not true. Andrew, you I, gotta listen to, I, you're not I, listening. I listen to everything. No, you're not. It's our livelihood here. <laughs> and it, it's never been considered. Emily, We're what does that so happen? Hard. But ex explain what's been going on because so Marcus understands. No, no, so I, I understand. I no, want you, you don't to un understand. No, no, you don't understand. No, because... You don't understand. What do you mean I don't understand? Because you don't know the history of what's gone on here. The history is, is that the people that work here don't want to do it anymore. Guy's a f***ing lunatic. <laughs> I decided to bring in Dr. Rivera, a workplace psychiatrist. Andrew, this is Dr. Rivera. She's worked with me in other companies and trying to help bring people together. Some certain... <laughs> I'm kidding. Employees have, employee. employees have been the bane of my existence. Okay. Your employees need to know that you trust in them, value them, and believe in them. Or it's gonna cost you. In the bank, it's gonna cost you. So what's been going on with you and Andrew? It was an incident. I got bit by a dog. Uh, this dog started charging out of the run. My first instinct was protect this dog from running down the street. And the dog latched onto my arm. And literally, he said to me, well, look how you're handling the dog. And I was like, uh, you know, I mean, it's like the, the damage control. I said, control. what are you doing, is what I said. Neither of those statements anyway to me sound like they have any um, level of concern. I went up into the office, and I said, next time I get bit, please show some compassion. Then that's not what happened at all. He was very angry and really challenged me in front of people. And I said, what is your problem? And he goes like this. Oh my God. Not oh my God. Not oh my God. I did not get in his face. This is the energy that I had when he was screaming the F word in my face. What the f it just, it, there was no stopping it. That's not what I said, you frickin' moron. The people that need to go, need to go. The people that are causing the problems need to go. How do you feel about that? I'm just listening for right now. So your solution is to get rid of all the people because they all suck. What people? The staff? Us people. <laughs> I'm not a moron, and I can make this business work with or without you. This isn't Good Sam, this isn't Camping World, this isn't... You know why it's this not? Because if this was Good Sam and Camping World, your would be out of here. So please don't, don't bring up my business. Finish? Why don't, don't you bring up my business finish? ever. I'll bring what because I brought I to. treat okay. my people the I right way. To... You don't know how to treat people. Oh yeah, I do. No. Okay, I have changed. Oh my God. Okay, I have changed. 
I know what I have to do, and I know what I have to see happen here in order for LA Dog Works oh to Oh my God, you don't though. You keep saying that over and over and over again. All I've heard for the last year is about getting rid of this, that, and the okay. other, Andrew, and you've never done it. I'm sorry. Okay. You've never done it, and you lambast a lot of hardworking people who come in here and they work their asses off every day. And a lot of great people who've left because of you. Because of me? Because, because of, Cargo. of you. Not true. Nobody's left for that reason. Aaron, you are so full. You are, are I'm in sorry. such no. denial. No, I am you not. Are you are in denial, my denial. friend. No, you are. Absolute bull. <sighs> you know, I just am not in the mood to do this right now. Are you with me? Are you with me? This level of unpredictability is too scary. A million dollar offer that I made to Andrew, that deal's off the table. I won't be a part of it. The definition of an entrepreneur is somebody that has the willingness to try things and the strength to understand that failure is an option. But more importantly, the guts and the courage to get up and try again. Are you that person? What's my value? Are you asking me that? No, I know what it is. And that so confidence is what I love about you. The Prophet, all new Tuesdays, 10 Eastern. CNBC, get yours.